The Adventures of a Little Reindeer on a Quest to Save His Pet Dragon is Hong Kong's first 3D animation targeting a universal audience. Little Gobi is set for worldwide release in the summer, but its producers are capitalizing on licensing opportunities by exhibiting at the HKTDC Hong Kong Licensing Show. The kids, after they watch the movie, we have to have some follow-up. You know, after watching, I like Gobi, I like Gobi, but that's all. It's finished. So if you've got TV series and you've got some merchandising, some licensing stuff, to keep on, you know, thinking, uh, remembering this item. Fatina Dreams is another Hong Kong created character that has captured hearts in Europe. Fatina is a little rag doll who dreams herself alive to save the planet one dream at a time. She created the character for, to use as a marketing um, representative for her jewelry line. Then she realized it had its own momentum and that people were really responding to the character itself. And that she also knew that it could actually express the message about recycling and how to create new things out of old things. But she herself could not develop it um, alone and licensing was a means of taking it global. The two brands are just some of the 500 properties seeking new markets by exhibiting at the 2011 Hong Kong International Licensing Show. The ninth edition features more than 140 exhibitors from 16 countries and regions here to tap the hottest region for the licensing industry. The potential in Asia, I think, is the strongest. I think that's where the most uh, pent-up demand exists. I think when we talk about Asia, we really have to distinguish between different Asian territories. In China, however, with the growth of retail, and that retail growth has been driven by consumer demand, an increasing segment that is demanding you know, a greater range of products, and especially Western products, that's meant that one of the models of getting that product to market is through licensing. First-time exhibitor Smiley World is at the fair to expand its universally recognizable brand in Asia. Nicholas Lufrani relaunched the smiley face that his father created 40 years ago. Smiley is my twin brother. We, we were born at the same time. I started creating hundreds and hundreds of new smiley logos and created a world of uh, smiley icons which was created as a way to renew the, the, the logo but to also make it more more art driven. One quintessentially Hong Kong brand, G.O.D. or Goods of Desire, is going down the licensing route by exhibiting at this show for the first time. Its Delay No More campaign especially resonates with a Western audience. Companies that are looking to either expand the reach of their product or to diversify their product lines. With licensing, it can be a very cost-efficient and effective way to do either of those. And with a potential in Asia yet to be realized, global brands are turning their eyes to the region. That's why the trade body, the Licensing Industry Merchandisers Association, or LIMA, decided to set up its regional base in Hong Kong to help educate and create networking opportunities for its members. It's a very friendly business com uh, community and atmosphere in Hong Kong. Um, there's a, a licensing community that's already established here. And as I tell my members all the time who are looking to enter this market, they need, um, they need strong representation locally. And I think they can find that in, uh, in Hong Kong. Big plans uh, here. Uh also for one big reason is that uh, today Europe is sleeping, Asia is booming. Of course, I mean, yeah, you just have to, to be here.